The Laboratory of Intelligence Systems at EPFL is working towards the creation of completely autonomous indoor microflyers that could be used for surveillance and search applications within small built environments. The prototype presented here, called MC1, uses optic flow to take off, regulate its speed, and steer away from the walls autonomously. Robust operation has been demonstrated during up to 10 minutes of autonomous flight. At this stage, however, the altitude is still controlled manually. This MC-1 weighs only 10 grams and flies at speeds around 1.5 meters per second. It carries two one-dimensional cameras, one pointing frontward used to avoid walls, and one pointing downward that will eventually be used to regulate altitude. It also possesses two rate gyros that measure rotational speed around the yaw and pitch axes. Finally, it is capable of regulating its speed thanks to an anemometer that measures air flux. The control and signal processing is implemented on a tiny microcontroller embedded in the plane. The MC-1 here flies in our specially designed experimentation room where any type of texture can be projected on the walls by eight high definition projectors. This setup allows us to calibrate the visual system, assess the control strategy, and reproduce different types of indoor environments. The low weight of the MC-1 implies tremendous constraints in terms of embedded computational power, sensors, and airframe architecture. Moreover, controlling such systems is quite different from controlling more conventional outdoor micro-aerial vehicles, which can rely on high-precision active sensors such as GPS, inertial measurement units, visual horizon detectors, and classical rangefinders. All of these sensory modalities are not available indoors. This is why we decided to take inspiration from the fly to implement the controller and signal processing of our indoor microflyers. For further information, please check the website lis.epfl.ch, that is the Laboratory of Intelligent Systems at EPFL in Switzerland.